everyone welcome back to my channel and today in this video I'm going to show you another kind of a uh, designer blouse so for making this project you need a red color fabric I just took a uh, half a meter of this fabric and I took a half a meter of black color and this is going to be the main fabric so I just took a uh, 80 centimeter of this fabric and you need some laces it can be any laces uh, today I took a gold color lace and uh, this is going to be the piping lace and a black color piping lace also you need this uh, interfacing and also I'm going to use my French curve to draw the neckline shape so most of you have mailed me that where you get this French curve so what I thought is I can just put this in my Facebook page so if you want you can just always purchase from there I don't know how it's going to work but this is going to be very first try two of you are sending me message that you not getting this French curve in your area I also inbox me what all the stuffs you are looking for and what are the stuffs you don't get in your area also so you can always inbox me in my Facebook page the link for the Facebook page is in the description box so please do check with that and uh, let's get into the project so first I'm going to mark the full length of my blouse so the full length of my blouse is going to be uh, 14 inches from the top so it totally depends upon your height and this is going to be the first step in marking the back side of the blouse first you're going to mark the length of the blouse so I'm going to give one inch for this for the folding and uh, let me draw a straight line and finish off the end point of the blouse so this is going to be the seam allowance that I'm giving for the fabric so now the shoulder length so the length of my shoulder is going to be uh, 16 inches so when I divide the 16 into 2 it's going to be 8 inches so as I'm going to make this neckline a little bit deeper so my neckline depth would be from the top I'm going to keep till 9.5 inches so that I'm going to minus one and a half inches from the shoulder and not from the neckline okay the more deep you go you just reduce half an inch from this so now I'm going to take 9.5 inches so I'm going to take out uh, 1.5 inches from the shoulder so if you're taking the neckline depth to be 10 inches uh, you have to take the shoulder to be 6.5 might be I have to minus a 0.5 from that so it's a just a mental calculation so the exact measurement of my shoulder is going to be 8 inch now I'm not going to give 8 inch because the depth of my neckline is going to be uh, nearby 9.5 I'm going to mark now but when I stretch and measure it's going to remind 10 so the neckline I'm going to reduce it till one and a half inches so uh, that's going to be 6.5 inches when you reduce the shoulder the neckline will sit exactly in the place and if you're not reducing the shoulder and you keep on uh, just decreasing the depth of the neckline for sure once you wear the blouse the shoulder is going to fall down because it doesn't have a support to hold the neckline That's the reason behind that to reduce the shoulder okay so now I just mark the shoulder for 6.5 inches so I'm going to take the equal half of the shoulder now I'm marking the armhole and from here I'm going to mark the chest measurement that is going to come till 10.5 inch and now I'm going to mark the waist I'm going to connect it with my sketch. So people watching this video for the first time, please do learn the basic blouse making video. Uh, just click on the link that you see on the screen. So watching through the mobile phone. Please do check with the description box because you can't see the link from the mobile phone. Using the French curve, I have just curved the armhole in and I just draw the line joining from the armhole line till the end of the blouse. 
so now I'm going to mark the neckline for this so the depth of the neckline as I told I'm going to keep 9.5 inches from the top so just mark 9.5 from the top just draw a line So this is going to be the exact neckline so from that neckline it's going to go uh, maximum of 3 inch down so take your French curve and just place the French curve like this okay and it's going to go all the way down in like this and it's going to go If you want this to be a little bit wide uh, you can just always alter your French curve like this and uh, you can just make a wide neckline also so the more you make the neckline wide it's going to go in depth over this point it's going to have a nice and neat so this is going to have a two layers so the first layer would be in gold color fabric this is going to remain gold and the same like that I'm going to add another layer to this okay this is going to be in red color fabric and I'm going to add another layer to this so this is going to be in uh, black color okay I'm going to add three layers to this so first I'm going to cut this out So now I'm going to transfer this to my fabric. This is going to be the folded edge and I'm going to place it exactly on the folded edge like this and I'm going to pin that in place. Now cut this out. So I never left the seam elements for the blouse. So I just leaving a one inch of seam elements and just cutting this out. So now I'm going to work on with my interfacing canvas. It's going to be the blunt of paper and the fabric, which is normal in one side and you have a glue on the other side. Hope you can see. The shiny side is going to be the glue and this is going to be the plain side. Always you're going to place this glue side on the fabric and you're going to iron this out so that it just sticks to the fabric. Uh, it just holds the neckline design believe me if you put it for 20 wash also it just stays in the place make sure you keep the folded edge meets the folded edge of the fabric like this now I have placed it like this and I'm just removing the pin and I'm pinning it with the canvas so that I don't want the neckline to move from its place okay. in safer side Please do draw the neckline pattern one more time in your canvas and also I will be showing how to just sew this curve in a nice and neat way because one side it will come correctly and another side it won't come correct so I will be showing you the very easy and simple step to sew this out 
So now I'm going to leave a marginal amount of fabric and I'm going to cut this out. It can be a, just a simple line goes along with the curve and we can cut this out. So now I'm going to cut the red color out from this. So now I'm going to cut the canvas and the fabric which is required for this pattern. So to make this black color, uh, I'm just using the leftover canvas like this. Just place it on the exact folded edge and just pin that in place and just mark the outline for this. I'm going to cut this out. The same like that, I'm going to leave a margin amount for this. And cut this out. So same like that, fold the fabric in half. Make sure that the folded edge of the canvas is going to meet the folded edge of the fabric like this. And lay it flat like this. And I'm going to secure that some pins. how to attach the canvas with the fabric so I showed you how to cut the neckline which is the uh, main fabric I also made a lining fabric for this so you're going to make a lining fabric for all of the necklines so now just place the neckline like this so the tricky part is uh, sewing this pointy edge if you're not sewing the pointy edge correctly it's going to be a hard mess so all you have to do is take a pencil and draw a nice curve so you're going to have this as a margin and you're going to sew that together in this way you won't make any mistake and the neckline also get a very good shape so this step will help the beginners to stay on the exact shape of the neckline so i'm going to take this line as a guide you're going to start from this point and you're going to come all the way down so when you get to this pointy tip put your needle in and turn the fabric and you're going to sew up like this so let me show you that now I'm going to attach the canvas with the lining fabric to snip all the way around the neckline if you have a curved part it's not going to fold so I just made a slit all around but it folds really nice and neat
just want to make this video simple as that so that because I want the beginner also to try these uh, designer blouse now I'm going to place this piece of fabric on top of the main fabric like this so this is going to be the pre side of the fabric and this is going to be the wrong side of the fabric so make sure you place it on the exact pointy tip and just pin it up in place so that it doesn't move and now you're going to do the same over this point so just place it like this and you're going to sew on the exact stretch line again okay when I get to the pointy tip I'm just putting my needle in now I'm turning the fabric so now the thing is you're going to just squeeze in the neckline and make it in a place don't make the neckline like this so when you get to that point make sure you just bring that side of the neckline close and then you're going to sew that together in this way you just give a nice shape to the neckline So I want to just nip the corners so I'm just taking my pointy tip scissors and I'm just snipping that in. Make sure you don't cut into the threads. Always have a pointy tip scissors when you make this neckline. I'm going to turn this the fabric in and I just pressed that together this is going to be the back side that's the wrong side I'm going to do the same step for my red color fabric I just made a lining the main fabric and the canvas so now I'm going to first attach the lining with the canvas like this so My main fabric and I'm going to lay my lining fabric on top of my main fabric like this and I'm going to sew the same make sure first you pin the center point of the fabric secure that in place and then you're going to sew that together like this Just put the needle in, turn the fabric out and I'm going to sew to the next side. Take your pointy scissors and, and make the exact notches all around. We're going to flip that in like this. So now you can see my uh, red color is also ready. For this golden color fabric, uh, if you are not getting this canvas in your area, so this is going to be the alternate way to sew this neckline without the canvas. So if you don't get the canvas, no worries, you can still make this design. So make sure you take your lining fabric like this and you're going to draw same on the lining fabric.
So now this is going to be the pretty side of the fabric and I'm going to lay my lining on top of my main fabric like this to the center pinning that in place okay let me go all the way up like this okay. pin that in place so this is going to be the designer blouse number three so if you want me to make any particular designer blouse, please do inbox me on my Facebook page. This place, please do not stretch because this, so this part is in bias. So for sure it have a stretch. You should not stretch the fabric. Just ease with the fabric and sew it like this. So when you stretch the fabric, for sure you're not going to get the exact shape. in all around and to get into this Let's make sure you don't cut the stretch line and now you're going to turn that in So now you can see how neat it is. So to the outer edge, I'm going to attach this black color piping and I'm going to sew that together. So I just took my presser foot and I have attached my zipper foot to this. Okay. So you're going to sew that like this. is going to look like this all I have to do is I have to press the piping in so that it will get ready same like that I'm going to do to my red color fabric same like the black color piping I have given piping for my color one so now I'm going to show you how to attach all the pieces together so now this is how you're going to uh, lay all the pieces together make sure that all the pointy tip of the blouse meets at the exact point so what I do is uh, I'm just marking the straight of the pointy tip so that I can lay this on top like this. And it's going to So this is how it's going to look. So 
So now, once you assemble it like this, uh, you're going to pin that in place. So first you're going to pin over the center point of the blouse. See, this is very important because if this is not straight and neat, for sure it's not going to look nice. Okay. Make sure first you pin that. You're going to pin this. So I show you how to stretch that. So first you're going to start from the outer edge of the blouse. So once it's done, you're going to press everything in place. And so I, in my previous video, I think the designer blouse number two, I have showed you how to attach the hangings. And if you want to learn that, please do check with the link that you see on the screen or else do check with the description box also. So if you want me to make any particular designer blouse that you find really hard to sew, please do inbox me. I'm not selling the French curve and the stuff to make profit. Perhaps my Facebook members and my subscriber really want some stuff that I use in my video because they don't get those stuff in their place. So um, really I don't know how it's going to work. If you have any ideas and suggestions, please do inbox me. And uh, that's it for now. So if you like this video or if you want me to make more videos like this, please do hit on the thumbs up button below so that I can know whether I have to make more videos like this or not. And if you don't want to miss any of my future video, please do hit on the subscriber link that you see on the screen. So all the links would be in the description box also. So if you're watching this video on your mobile phone, for sure you won't be seeing that. those links. Please do check with the description box. And thank you so much for watching my video. See you next time with a different kind of neckline design. Take care. Bye-bye.